Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Barry Selby. Welcome to my daily broadcast. A little earlier than usual because I have holiday social plans tonight, so my schedule got changed. So before I jump into, or actually, before I introduce, my, introduce myself, let me introduce the topic. This is episode number 569. The topic today is remember your agreements with others. You respect them and they you. And I'll break this down because it's a simple thing that we forget. But before I do that, let me introduce myself so you know who I am and why I'm here doing these talks every day. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. And I help strong, successful women, high achieving women, create and find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And every day I do these talks called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart. And this is episode 569. So there's been a bunch of these pretty much over the last two, just two over two years. And so again, the topic today, I want to realize my shirt in the background is kind of, yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> I thought I was just was flo floating in space. Slight distraction. So um, the topic today, <laughs> coming back to the point at hand, is... Um, Remember your agreements with others. They respect you, and, and it's just vice versa, because and you respect them. See, the thing about this is, uh, I'm gonna jump into this one the right way. Okay, I'll use an example, it'll be easy to do that. I was talking to a friend of mine yesterday, and she talked about how this guy she was gonna go, was going on a date with, um, they'd been on, they met on the dating site, they had a communication, messages back and forth, they finally talked to each other on the phone, and um, she, he said to her, like, I'll meet you at whatever time it was, say noon, to go out. Great. He doesn't show up till 12.30, and doesn't say a word. No text, no message, no nothing. Sits down, starts going away, and she's sitting there basically fuming because he hadn't shown up on time, and he did not let her know. So, a word to the wise. If you're, if you're making agreements to meet somebody, keep your agreements. And if you're not going to do it, communicate that. I mean that okay, that's again, I'm signed off on that, you've got the lesson. It's more to it than that. And this is where it gets a bit more crusty, so to speak. Because first of all, we are oftentimes oblivious to the agreements we've made. Yes, we don't even know we made them. Because you may have something happen where you're, um, someone says something and you go, yeah, sure. And they heard you make an agreement with them. You totally didn't think you did. So it's important to be very aware of what you're saying and what you're agreeing to. Because you may be saying yes to things or even no to things or by default without knowing it without even realizing you've done it. So be aware of what you say and what communications you have. It's tempting sometimes to go unconscious in conversations. I've seen it, people do it many times. I've had conversations with people like that. And sometimes I'm realizing I could play games with them by saying, you agree to do this, yes. And they say yes without thinking about it. And then I came back to, came back to them later and said, uh, you know, yesterday you said yes to this. You owe me, you know, $2 million or something, you know, whatever that is. Meaning that it's very easy to manipulate people when they're not conscious. This is the other part, which is more insidious, in fact, is that, well, actually, I want to get two ways with this. So I'll come back to that one later on. This one I'll do first. For some people, saying a yes to people, to agree with people, is absolutely... Um, I would say careless a lack of caring because for a lot of people well not for a lot of people some people they don't respect anybody so when you ask them to meet you at 4 o'clock and they say yes they don't have no intention of doing so they just don't care because they don't respect you so that's very telling if you're in the dating arena because you're meeting somebody who says one thing does something different that's a, that's a telltale sign that maybe they don't respect you yeah that's how simple it can be the other thing I want to talk about, which is perhaps more subtle, is when you don't keep agreements. I did a whole talk about this, God, seven, six, seven months ago, about the price you pay. And I wanted to give a quick Cliff Notes version here. When you make an agreement and you don't keep it, it may seem flippant to say, oh, it doesn't matter, it's not important. Well, I'm wait for the plane to go over. I'm at my friends in Venice near Santa Monica Airport. It's a lot of local small planes flying by, so the timing. So if you make an agreement, maybe you don't think it's worth that much. Maybe in your conscious mind, you think, oh, it's no big deal. But in your subconscious mind and your, uh, and your cells, every agreement is law. So unless you choose to honor every single agreement, you're chipping away at your self-trust. 
That's why I said it's important to be respecting each other and to have respect from people because you keep your agreements. That also looks in the, goes in the mirror too, as in you may in fact find yourself wondering why you don't trust yourself. And if you don't trust yourself, it's possible because you've broken too many agreements and you don't have that trust anymore. So I'm giving you like the, the cliff notes of some big topics here that can change your life radically. But if you're in a place where you're not actually feeling that you can trust your word and trust yourself it's because you've probably violated this trust of yourself by, keep, by breaking agreements you made with other people and with yourself. For example, as we get into the, getting towards the new year coming up, maybe last year when it was 2018, you made a New Year's resolution, an agreement, that you're going to go work out at the gym four days a week. And that lasted three weeks and you stopped. So ever since then, you've carried this little chip inside that's chipping away at your self-trust because you violated an agreement you made that you're going to go to the gym. So here's the thing. I'm going to talk more about this in the new year about setting up intentions versus agreement, uh, resolutions because intentions are directional. Resolutions are like agreements you make. And some of those resolutions can be absolutely impossible to keep, which makes it harder and harder to trust yourself because you're setting yourself up for failure. Not a good move. So taking agreements as a tool, agreement keeping and trust go hand in hand. And if you don't keep your agreements, you don't have trust with other people or with yourself. So my encouragement to you is to look at your life in every area, not just in relationships or romance, I was using that as an example, but in business, social, um, any conversations you have. When you make an agreement, keep it. now. As I said in the talk I did a few months back, it's something I learned in my seminar years and years ago, is that there are some, um, I want to say back doors, but some options if you have an agreement you've made that you realize you can't keep. Because life happens. Now, I said at the beginning as the example, if you were going to commit commitment to meet somebody at a certain time and you're running late, let them know. It's a sign of respect that you appreciate them, care about them enough to say, I realize I'm not going to make enough time, I apologize, I'll be there 10 minutes late or whatever that is. In fact, yesterday, when I was meeting my friend, I did that because I was running late to meet her. And she got there earlier than I expected, but I at least gave her the understanding that I might be late. So that keeps the trust and the agreement intact. So if you need to renegotiate, one of those things is you can do the renegotiation. If it's something like that where you're running a bit late, that's fine. Here's some things. If you, all have, a, if you have a bad habit of tracking your agreements, do yourself a favor and write them down or put them into your calendar on your phone. Do something so that you don't forget them. I do my Facebook Live every day, for example. Even though I do it every day, sometimes I forget what time it is. So I have a calendar notification in, each day, in, in, in the day I move it from day to day that reminds me to do my Facebook Live. That's how I don't break my agreement with myself to keep doing this every day. It's part of my commitment to myself and to whoever's watching these as well. So one thing is make note how we do that, either digitally or physically, so you remember these things. Post-its on the mirror, in the fridge, things like that will keep you looking so you know to look for those things is great. Now, second thing, if you are um, having a challenge because you're making too many agreements, you are totally capable of making less, meaning say no more often. In fact, sometimes when someone asks you to do something, say no may the biggest stretch possible because maybe you're so afraid of getting the disapproval that you have to say yes. Mm -mm, not true. You'll actually have more disapproval if you say yes and then violate the agreement. Better to say no, that way there's no risk of being violation. So sometimes your biggest stretch is to actually say no to somebody wanting you to do something for them or to be with them or to whoever that is. Because then you're making a self-honoring choice. And self-honoring choices doesn't always mean saying yes. I think we're clear on that one. Another option to keep in mind is you can also, if you choose to, um, well, make fewer agreements in the first place because sometimes you make so many agreements, you say yes to so many things, you can't keep track of them all. So maybe your homework should, could be, and these are all homework items, by the way. Yes, I'm giving you homework without telling you. Ooh. Is that you can actually keep agreements easier by having less of them in the first place. So less agreements, saying no more often, renegotiating if you cannot keep it because something came up. Like you said, okay, we're going to meet for lunch in January and suddenly you're going to be out of town. Then renegotiate. It's okay. But here's the thing, don't renegotiate the day off, renegotiate ahead of time. If you, know, if you know beforehand, do it beforehand. That simple. So agreement keeping is a, is a life skill we don't learn in school, but it's a life skill we learn anyway. And sometimes we learn bad habits. 
So I hope what I've shared today has given you some ways of course correcting your habits so that they become easier, more manageable, and more successful, so you build more self-trust, you build trust with other people, and respect becomes organic. And that is your homework, your lesson, and your life skill, right there. <laughs> um, I want to make this brief because I've got a, a social calendar that's coming up. So it's, it's the weekend before Christmas, so I've got a um, holiday party tonight. So I'm doing early than usual. So in case you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do this every day, usually at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Today it's 3 p.m. because, one, because it's daylight still. Uh, even though we just got past the winter solstice, it's not going to be bright enough at 5 p.m. yet. Um, so this is my quick chat here. Um, it's one of my daily talks, so we can find all my other talks in case you haven't seen my broadcast before. If you go to my business page on Facebook, because this is a Facebook Live, by the way, and I'll tell you about YouTube and everything else in a moment. But I do this on Facebook Live first, and then I put them onto my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author, because Barry Selby is my personal page. barryselby.author is my business page, just so you know. I then also put them onto my YouTube channel, which is also called Barry Selby. All my social media is my name, which is Barry Selby. And there's a playlist on there called Messages for the Masculine. By the way, if you'd be willing to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I appreciate that. Again, Barry Selby on YouTube. Third, I have a podcast, which I'm slowly rolling out, which is also called Messages for the Masculine, same as my playlist on, on YouTube. That's my podcast on iTunes. You can subscribe to that as well. And you can listen to the audios that I've been pairing with my video tracks for a while now. So you can listen to those when you're driving, doing other things. I think that's it. If this throws up some questions for you, please put them below. And I'll respond to you when I sign off. Um, watch on YouTube or on Facebook. Comments are welcome and the interaction is definitely welcome as well. Um, if you want to talk further and want some understanding about how you can have better relationships, I'll leave the link in the comments for my discovery session, a gift to you. So you can sign up for one of those and have a chat and we can see if working together would be a good idea. And otherwise, you've got your homework. I didn't tell you beforehand. Sorry. <laughs> I broke an agreement. I usually tell you ahead of time. But this was a sneak attack. I wanted to give you something to think about, but also something you can take into your life. And with that, I hope you do take it into your life because it will transform every relationship you have. So once again, I thank you for watching. I will see you again tomorrow. Um, tomorrow I'm actually at a party all afternoon. So it may be later in the evening, it may be early. I'm not sure when yet, but stay tuned. You'll see my broadcast either live or in replay. So for that, I thank you for watching. I will see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.